everyone, welcome back to Erin Barnett's YouTube channel. Thank you to everyone who has recently subscribed to my channel. I can't believe it. it's like almost 30,000. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Just pray for myself. Good job, Erin. Good job. Thank you to everyone who has recently viewed my first Q&A on YouTube. There's so many views. I was like, yes, guys, yes! Love me, love me, love me, love me, love you, love you, love you, love you. Okay, so here is the hot goss. This video will be a tell-all about my breakup with Eden recently. Hope you guys enjoy it as much as I'm going to enjoy telling everybody. Last week, Eden went on a radio station to tell everyone why we broke up. The real reason. And then I found out that he did that. So then I went on to the radio station and told them exactly why we broke up. The real reasons why we broke up. And some of it was pretty intense and I'm ashamed that it came out like that. I wish it came out in a different type of light. But it's just the way it went down. Ian and I got driven to a villa where we had to stay with a chaperone the day before we came back to Australia. And on that night, we were having a couple of drinks. I didn't really want to drink that much because I knew we had to get on a plane early in the morning. Eden did his own thing, ended up having two bottles of wine and a whole lot of Jack Daniels and Coke. I just wanted to go to bed and Eden didn't. And that caused an argument. I had taken a sleeping tablet to try and get to sleep quicker and try and get my sleeping pattern back into routine to be back in Melbourne. And that made Eden very angry that I just wanted to go to sleep. And I was like, well, I'm not dealing with this. We're not, there's nothing to argue about. I'll talk to you in the morning. And then things just escalated really quickly. Eden got very in my face, was yelling, was throwing things. Our chaperone had to get in between us. Mind you, I was still laying in bed. Eden was just going off and off and off, really scaring me. And then the chaperone had to come in and get him away from me twice because he kept barging in the room. I was crying. I was hysterical. I was shaking. I was shocked that this was happening kind of grateful that this has happened so I could that someone else was in in the villa with us so that they could help me god forbid I was on my own I don't know what I would have done getting on a plane the next day we didn't really talk about it much I said we'll talk about it when we get back now Eden knows this is true because the chaperone that was with us had to put like an incident report into I think Channel 9 or Love Island whoever was there the producers so this is the truth the second incident happened when I was in Sydney I road tripped up there with Francoise and Cassidy and I was staying at Eden's mum's house with Eden. Now we were driving to lunch and we were arguing and so we didn't make it to the restaurant. So then we were driving back to his mum's house and I said to Eden, I no longer want to be with you. I can't keep doing this. And then Eden got very angry and said, well, if you don't want to be with me, then I'll kill us both. So we're swerving the car side to side, side to side. And that was the most frightening moment of my life because watching the other cars swerve out of the way and I was I, I was so helpless I couldn't do I was just screaming and he just when you looked at him like the the face that he had was like pure rage lucky enough Eden snapped out of his anger mood and drove back to his mum's house where his brother had to come into the house and grab Eden so that I could pack my bag. I packed my bag, went downstairs, hugged his mum and was crying and said I feared for my life and she apologised for Eden's behaviour and Eden's stepdad grabbed, helped me with my bags down the stairs and put my bag in my car for me and I hugged him goodbye and said I'm so sorry this has happened. And then I went to Bondi where the Mac, Sh Mac Cassidy and Francoise were all staying and I said can I please stay with you because I've got nowhere else to stay. And we're going home the next day anyway. And they're like, yeah, cool, that's fine. Of course, of course. So that is a legit thing that happened to me. That moment was another moment where I should have just walked away. Red flag, red flag, red flag. But no, I stayed stupidly. And I think it was to do with the whole, I love this guy. And, you know, we can work through anything. We can, we're can. we here to we help each other. I'm going to help Eden better himself. He can help me better myself. But no, it just ended up getting worse. So then the last incident happened when Eden was previously down in Melbourne with me and like again we were in bed and I wanted to go to sleep and Eden didn't and Eden was drinking and like as per usual and just getting more angry and more angry and more angry and then was at my house on this bed mind you so he was here and I was there and he was pulling the blanks off me not letting me sleep just tormenting me just constant tormenting me and I was like and at this point, I'm I'm scared of Eden. That's why I preferred for Eden to stay with me and my mum instead of staying at a hotel in the city because I'm afraid to be alone with him. Anyway, things got worse. He got more angry and more angry. Then decided to pop some Valium and drink some Jack Daniels and Coke. 
I don't understand this. So mind you, just picture this happening while I'm home alone with this man who is going absolutely apeshit, knowing what he has done in the past, fearing, and every time I grabbed my phone to try and call someone for help, it's like Eden would snatch the phone out of my hand. Okay, so when you're in a state of mind like this, what are you going to do? So I started crying and screaming, saying, get out, get out, get out. And he was coming right up to my face, pushing my head with his head, trying to intimidate me and just going crazy, like putting his arms up. I was like, oh my God, like this is the moment that it's going to happen. Like he's actually going to hit me. And it was right in my face, pushing me back with my head up against the, so the, in my lounge room where the wall is, near the glass door, near the back door. And he was on the phone to his brother and his brother was like, don't touch it, don't just get out, just leave, just leave, just leave. And then he did eventually get out of the house and I quickly locked the door and he had to catch an Uber somewhere and stay at some hotel the night before he had to go back to Sydney. And that was a moment where we broke up. I could not do it. I was so thankful that he had to go back to Sydney the next day. After... Eden and I released our statement on Instagram that we had broken up. I was getting so many messages from girls saying, he actually cheated on you on this date, this date, this date, this date. And I was like, okay, great. <laughs> Number one, Eden. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I can just prove the public wrong because I know I'll never cheat on Erin. And um, we're very happy and I'll never uh, be disloyal or, or um, disfaithful. So I'll just prove everybody wrong. Are you prepared to only have sex with Erin for the rest of your life? Yes. <laughs> um, that was a lie. That's a stitch up. Oh, that could mean many things. Never mind, so you could... Like, kind of not believe in them, kind of be like, do you have proof? Well, well, well. Eden brought strippers up to Shelby's apartment that night on the 7th of August and fooled around with them and cheated on me. And Shelby can confirm that Eden did bring up four strippers to her hotel room. Eden admits to bringing up girls into the room, but admits that nothing else happened. So you're telling me that these four strippers came up into the hotel room and you all just sat there holding hands, singing Ring Around a Rosie? No, no, no. No, mate. That's a lie. That is the biggest lie. So I will attach some of those screenshots on here so everyone can see. Eden is also aware of these screenshots because I sent them to him and he will deny it till the day he dies, so good for him. I don't know how he has the energy to lie so much. It's so much easier just to tell the truth. This is enough. I said to him, I've had it with you. Do not release anything in the media about why we broke up. It is what it is. Let's just move on. I want nothing to do with you. And we had that agreement. And then I woke up one day to see that Eden went on the radio and lied. Eden lied straight to everyone's faces and on social media about the real reasons we broke up. And I told Eden that if he ever goes to the media about why we broke up and lied, I would tell everyone the absolute truth. And he agreed and he said, no, you didn't want anyone to know. Why don't you want anyone to know? Because it's fucking shit what I went through. That's why. I want this video to be like a stance against when you should leave a relationship. I should have left Eden the day before we came back to Australia because that behaviour towards me was not acceptable and there's no reasoning behind whatever he can say re drunk, that's not an excuse. I can be that drunk and that fucked up at a nightclub and I still know what I'm doing. Okay? So that is not an excuse for me. And the fact that I stupidly was hiding Eden away from, you know, what may happen if the public find out about this. Well, that's a consequence of your actions, Eden. And I'm not hiding anymore because I'm sick and tired of looking at people in the eye and being like, yeah, no, it was a good relationship, yeah, no. We were advised by Channel 9 publicists to just try and be peaceful on social media with why we broke up. Just leave it as is. No one has to know. It's fine. It's fine. Which is what I did until Eden went behind my back. So I'm not doing this out of revenge or I got you, you got me. I'm doing it because I want people to know the truth. And I want people out there not to stay in a relationship that's abusive, physically or emotionally. Just leave because it does with your head and I have anxiety so to go through this I have to pick myself up again and again and again because no one else can help me but me at the end of the day you're all that you have and I've, I know I've been getting messages from people on Instagram saying you know they wish I had my confidence to leave a relationship that's abusive but you should just please leave because I've heard so many scary stories where some women didn't make it out of their relationship and it started off like this Okay, even though this must seem like a small incident for some people, but it was really big for me because I've never been frightened with from I've never been so scared of a man before ever like my dad I'm like my dad's little girl and he has always brought me up to never be scared of a man because a man should never lay a finger on you never and 
Eden when he was doing that with his head against my head up against and was pushing me. It was the most frightening thing. And I never ever want anyone to experience that. And I'm apologetic to anyone that has had to go through domestic violence and be in a relationship that is just messing with you physically and emotionally because it is it's so awful. You can't even explain to someone unless they've gone through something similar. And it's just sickening that there is there are men out there, they're not even men, they're fucking boys, stupid little boys that think they can rule us because they're a bit taller and a bit more muscly and have some fucking shit tattoos on their arm. No, no, no. In the end, us women who have gone through this will end up being stronger and better than you. Whew, that was pretty intense to get that out. So I hope, you know, everyone can make their own opinion on what's true and what's not. I wouldn't go out of my way to make this video if I was lying. My stories have stayed the exact same throughout the entire breakup. So, you know, at the end of the day, you guys can take what you want from this video. I just want to get it out in the open. I actually feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders because now I don't have to sit here and repeat this story to every single person that I meet out in the public. You just can watch this, think what you want, do what you want with these videos. I don't care. I just want people to know the truth. So this is going to be the end of it. I'm not going to talk about Eden ever again. It is what it is. Eden can choose to do what he wants with this video. And yeah, we can just go from there. Thank you guys so much and I really hope I have a lot of your support after this video. Thank you.